Someone sent me a picture today of four t-shirts hanging on a washing line. The first one read, 2019, avoid negative people. The second one read, 2020, avoid positive people. The third one read, 2021, avoid all people. The, first, the fourth one says, 2022, who knows? Well, I think it's divine providence, as the answer is actually in this week's parasha, parashat Bo. From all the ten plagues, which ones are the worst ones? One could easily say that the answer is simple, because the plagues were getting worse and worse as they were progressing. So the worst ones were the last ones. Which leaves us wondering, why is the plague of darkness the one before last? Darkness doesn't seem to top the worst plague rankings. I mean, big deal, spending a few days in darkness seems like a minor inconvenience. Is darkness worse than, for example, the utter destruction of all crops and food from the eighth plague, the locust? Rather, we can find the answer when we look closely at the words the Torah uses to describe this ninth plague. Velo ra'u ish etachiv, the Torah says. They did not see each other during the plague of darkness. Everyone was on their own. They suffered alone. It was the end of any sense of community. They were no longer in it together. Loneliness is indeed the worst plague. And this teaches us an important message. Every one of us at some point in life goes through a rough patch. The many challenges of life include stress, depression, relationship issues, addiction, mental illness, health illness, and so on. But it still doesn't mean we can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. How does one know that the problem has gotten to the point that he's now living in darkness with no light at the end of the tunnel? The ninth plague gives us an indication. When we can no longer see someone else. When one's personal challenges are so overwhelming that he or she can't see or feel another's pain, this is darkness. This coming Wednesday is Yud Shvat, which marks 71 years since the day the Rebbe assumed leadership of the Chabad movement. The Rebbe personified what it means to live with light, the ability to discover preciousness in everyone we encounter and see positivity in everyone we meet. The Rebbe taught us that to be his chassid means to have unconditional love for one another because there should never be a Jew suffering alone, not physically and not spiritually. Because to be a Jew means that we see the light of friendship, camaraderie and community always around us. So back to the t-shirt of 2020. It should read, in 2022, perhaps we should realize that the answer to all this balagan around us is finding the light in people. Shabbat Shalom.